The ductwork in this house had never been cleaned, not even a do-it-yourself cleaning. Many things had found their way into these vents, including construction debris from when the house was built. In this video, I'll show how the dust and debris was removed. Most of the work was done with a homemade vacuum and duct whip. I used a barrel, a leaf blower, a piece of OSB sheeting, and some flexible foil ducting to make the vacuum. One end of the foil ducting goes through a hole in the OSB sheet and into the barrel. The other end is attached to a certain vent inside the house. There will be more about that later in the video. A trash can or a fairly large storage tote could also work in place of the barrel as long as the lid seals okay. Has to be sturdy enough not to collapse from the strong vacuum though. This is my homemade duct whip. I'll use it on the end of an air hose to sweep the dust and debris in the section of duct I'm working on toward the vent with the leaf blower vac attached. I printed part of this duct whip, but one or two pipe fittings and some aquarium airline are all that's needed to build one. Those parts are shown at the end of the video. It simply threads onto the end of one of my shop air hoses, like so. I'll need a couple more air hoses to get the air from the compressor to all the vents in the house. Would be nice to install this blowgun for turning on and off air to the whip like the pros use, but I don't have the fittings right now so I'm just going to use a coupler. I chose two vent openings to work between and then removed their registers. The flexible foil ducting from the leaf blower vac was then wedged into the lower of the two vent openings. I'll be sweeping debris toward this duct opening from the other duct opening I chose using the whip. A new garbage bag was used to seal around the foil ducting. With the hose from the leaf blower vac temporarily installed at one end of this duct, I turn off the HVAC unit and close all the vents except the two I'll be working through. Next the leaf blower vac was turned on and the air compressor was brought up to pressure. Now I move to that other duct opening I chose and insert the whip. The ductwork continues past the opening a few feet, so I push the duct whip in all the way to the end. Safety glasses on and here we go. I plug in the air and pull the whip sweeper back toward me, clearing the debris in this dead end section. When the whip gets back to me, I shut it off, then turn it around, turn it back on, and send it in the other direction. Whether I'm pushing or pulling the duct whip, I'm always moving it or sweeping in the same general direction as the air in the duct is moving, which is toward the vacuum. The first pass with the whip swept most of the dust and debris out of this section. See where the debris is piled up. I continue sweeping it all to the other end of this duct where the foil hose from the vacuum is installed. After uninstalling that hose, I remove all of the larger debris that the leaf blower vac couldn't quite suck out. I direct the exhaust from the shop vac out the nearest window. That went pretty well, so I select two other vent openings to work through. I wouldn't use the duct whip near the air conditioning coils because as we see, it whips around violently and could easily damage the thin aluminum fins that are on the AC coils. The air comes from a portable 20 gallon air compressor with a max pressure of about 125 psi and it struggled to keep up. This blue air hose is too flexible for it to be pushed all the way through this next segment of duct I'm working on. 
I need a much stiffer hose like the pros use. A plumbing snake will get me by until I'm better equipped. But I don't use it in segments where there are sharp protrusions that it might get snagged on. This vent opening is near the center of a particularly long segment of ductwork. Using a new trash bag stuffed with a couple other bags, I plugged off one segment of the duct so that the two halves could be done separately. In goes the foil hose and the unplugged segment is cleaned with the whip. After vacuuming out the debris left conveniently at the vent opening, I moved the plug to the other side like so, thus blocking off the clean segment. This prevents debris from being accidentally swept into the clean side while sweeping the other half. Working the house top to bottom, I end up in the crawl space to clean this plastic ducting. Only one end is accessible, so I insert the duct whip all the way and place the foil hose from the leaf blower vac just inside the duct. Next, I close the plastic duct around both the vac and the whip hose turned on the vacuum, pressurized the whip, and then pulled the whip back toward me and the vac hose. It did a good job of clearing the dust and debris, but like much of the duct work, there's still some residue after cleaning. This looks like soot beneath the HVAC. The residue is a direct result of failing to clean out the ductwork at regular intervals. I'll need to remove it during another video in my do-it-yourself duct cleaning series. Partway through the job I looked inside the barrel. This is all dust and lightweight material that the whip stirred up. Some dust was blown into the yard. The homemade vacuum and duct whip both worked well. In part two of this series, I'll build a duct whip using pipe fittings and aquarium airline. I'll also reveal some of what I learned while making and using duct whips. Thanks for watching.